It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer and Roy from the Netherlands contacted me recently to say hey Simon would you like to try some more beer and I was like yeah yeah absolutely why not let's do it let's do it so um, Roy sent this box of beer and some chilli which he always does uh, a bottle of chilli which I've already tried and it was fantastic smoked habanero Smoked habanero kind of pepper sauce from Westland Peppers. Oh, fantastic. But this beer has come as well. And uh, I, I'm dead excited to bring you this beer. Um, it's got a skull, on a golden skull on the front that's smiling rather menacingly. And this is called Blackberry Albert. Part of the Black Damnation series of beers. This is number one. And this is from the wonderful, wonderful De Strauss, De Strauss Brewers. It's 13%. 13% ABV. So it'll be the Black Albert, which is their dark Imperial Stout style beer but with blackberries in it. <laughs> 72 IBU. 72 IBU. So not only is this beer going to have a level of sweetness and sharpness from the blackberry, but it's going to have a level of bitterness in there too. This could be absolutely wonderful. A Belgian Royal Stout Ale from Flanders matured on black currants and red port barrels. Barrel aged as well. Right, without further ado then, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Little bit of smoke on the bottle opening. I'm not overly expecting this beer to have a lot of carbonation in it. Beer in the glass. Oh, look at this liquid. Oh my goodness me. Wow. It doesn't really want to create much of a head on the beer. There's a reason for that. The beer's 13% ABV. The alcohol's gonna want to naturally attack and kill off that head. So the fact that this beer has any head at all is already testament to the quality of this beer. Good levels of carbonation as you rock the beer back and forth. You can see that small carbonation chasing the head of the glass. It's a jet black beer in the glass. Oh, but with just notice with my fading eyesight, <laughs> the, 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 the beer has... It is bottle conditioned. You can see that there's sediment. You can see, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but there's definitely sediment here in the bottom of the glass. Let's get the aroma then on this fantastic, wonderful looking blackberry barrel aged imperial stout on port barrels. Oh, <laughs> Wow, you haven't even got to go close. You, you don't even have to put your nose too close to this beer. Wow, 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 wow. You definitely get the woodiness from the barrel. You definitely get the port. You definitely get the blackberry. You get a little bit of that caramel. A little bit of sweetness, a little bit of breadiness coming through. Roasted malt, chocolate, coffee, caramel. Vanilla. Plum, fig, prune. This is one of those beers you could probably pull flavours from for the rest of your life. 
there's, there's so much going on. So let's get into it then. 13% ABV. Cheers, everybody. Oh. <laughs> Stone the crows. Stone the crows. What a beer this is. It just goes on and on and on in offering flavours. It's just keep rolling and rolling and rolling I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you I didn't really fully is the best way to describe this understand or, or maybe not understand but when I was opening up this beer when I was looking at this beer to review yesterday thinking I, I you know I, I, let's get the thumbnail done and everything all the other things you need to do for a beer review. I was looking at this and I was thinking, is the Blackberry gonna spoil it? Is the Blackberry gonna spoil this beer? The answer is no. The answer is no. It's just, there's enough Blackberry in the beer to offer a little lick of fruit, but it's not an overpowering overly done fruit this is the right way to add fruit to, to a beer where it just complements the stout it just complements the the barrel aging of the beer and i think the where i'm a little bit scared if you like is that i've been drinking a lot of supermarket beer recently and when i see blackberry now on a can or cherry or i instantly it instantly makes me go ah, a little bit because i'm a little bit anxious because of the fact that is it going to be overly done this brewery goes about its business rather quietly producing some of the best beers in the world this brewery is fantastic, really is a fantastic brewery. The Strauss Brewers, oh, it's, it's mesmerizing, absolutely mesmerizing, mesmerizing beer. It's, it's thick, it's rich, it's creamy, plum fig prune, obviously a little bit of blackberry in there. You get a little bit of that port coming through. You get the woodiness coming through. The roasted malt, the chocolate, the coffee, the caramel flavours coming through from the roasted malt. You're getting vanilla, a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of oakiness from the barrel. This is absolutely sublime. Absolutely sublime. This is one of the best beers I've ever drank in my whole life. This is perfect perfectly balanced in every way shape or form it's it has wonderful wonderful little little licks little little touches delicate touches of everything and this is what makes this beer great there's a little bit of oakiness there's a little bit of vanilla there's a little bit of blackberry there's a little bit of roasted malt there's a little bit of toffee, caramel. There's a little bit of roasted the, 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 the coffee and caramel flavours coming through. It's just fantastic. And the fact that it's got... Look at the carbonation as you rock the beer back and forth. You know, there's some beer reviews, and I'll be perfectly honest with you. There's some beer reviews where I'm looking over the shoulder of the camera and I can see the microwave clock. And I'm like, have I done enough yet? Have I done enough to be able to stop the camera? And that's it with the beer review. This is not one of those beer reviews. 
this is one of the beer reviews. <coughs> Pardon me. This is one of those beer reviews where I, I feel like if, if the clock on the microwave broke and we carried on for the next 15 minutes, it really wouldn't matter. It's fabulous. It feels like I'm in my groove again. It feels like I'm, I'm reviewing this because I'm loving it. I'm loving it and I just want to carry on sipping and drinking this beer. Does, am I making sense? And I'm sure you guys are intelligent enough to be able to see that. I'm sure you guys can see the beer reviews where it's a bit of a struggle. It's a bit of a, a slog. It's like riding a bike. You ride a bike enough and it becomes a little bit boring. But when you first ride a bike, it's magnificent. This is like riding a bike all over again. For the very first time. It's perfect. Absolutely perfect beer. The Strauss Brewers Belgium. If you can buy the normal Black Albert, fine, I see normal, that's, that's about 13%. Um, they specialise in strong beers, the Strauss Brewers. If you can find some of their beers, please find it. I will find you their brewery name. Do you know that they're just one of these brewers? They don't overly, they're not flamboyant, they, they, they're not like. Can you see where my fingers are? It says the Strauss Brewers. Ah, there we are as well. There's a little badge there on the back. Absolutely brilliant. One of the best beers I've ever drank on the channel. Stone the Crows, 10 out of 10. Mm. 10 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.